check one two what's up everybody dj divine justice here uh i want to talk about how to load um tracks clips and then remix decks from the s4 um what happens is is when you hit this browse button um the um menu will expand or collapse back and forth to show you your library a little bit further. Also on the unit itself, either the Q buttons or the actual sample decks will light up uh, letting you know what's empty and what you can load. Um, so when it comes to tracks, when it comes to tracks and clips, you can pretty much load them wherever you want. Um, like I can take this clap, hit the button for this sample deck, and it loads it. But now when it comes to remix sets, if I hit that button, it says you cannot load a set into a track deck. And that's when I hit all day. Now, if I change this to a track deck, it'll give me that same response when I try to hit the button for C. And if I change this to a remix deck, also it will not let me load it and it won't even give me that response. Uh, if I right click, it'll give me the option to load the remix deck that way. So the way that I found uh, to get around this is, is going into the controller manager, uh, making a modifier. So you just go down to modifier, modifier one, click learn. You're gonna hit that same center browse button, this one. Although you're not going to do override mapping because you want it to perform its same function. Uh, button is fine, go down to direct, put it on one. Put this as modifier one. So when modifier one equals zero, we want this to be set to one. Then you duplicate that, hit the same button for learn, change this one to one, and this one to zero. Go off learn, and you can see we've made this also work as a modifier for one. So now when modifier one is on we want add in deck common load selected. Now we're gonna hit the uh, we'll just do one deck C learn gonna hit the cue point above C also do not want to override the factory mapping here and we want this modifier to be when 1 equals 1 because you can see it's in this mode and in there because you don't want when you're hitting the cue button for it to happen uh, when you don't want it to so now we'll come off that Now that's zero, I'll press the Q button. It'll work as a normal Q. Now I will hit the browse button, which as you see also does modifier one, and I'll hit that same Q button. And as you see, it loads the remix deck, which is what we want to have happen. Um, you basically just repeat this same function. You can uh, Duplicate, go to deck D, hit learn, hit the cue point over deck D. And if at any time you think you're going to be using more remix decks, just duplicate, go to deck A, and hit the cue point over deck A, and duplicate, go to deck B, hit the cue point over deck B. Then come out of learn and as you can see, I can even go down, hit deck A, 
And as you can see, cannot load a set into a track deck. Change this to a remix deck. Hit the button again. And it loads that remix deck. And hit either one of those cube buttons. You, nothing bad is going to happen when you're in the <laughs> middle of playing a remix deck. So that's just a quick way of how to load a remix deck from the Control S4. Uh, as usual, practice and enjoy. Peace and love. DJ Divine Justice, signing off.